Hi, this is State Representative Seth Grove. Welcome to another edition of Straight Talk with Seth. We will first wish you a happy new year and hopefully you had a safe and joyous holiday season with your family and friends. Uh, this past year has been a very exciting time for the citizens of Pennsylvania. The General Assembly has stepped up and done major reforms uh, to benefit the taxpayers and move Pennsylvania into a more business-friendly state hoping to move forward and create jobs and getting people back to work. One of them was obviously reforming our welfare system. Uh, we passed a package of legislation which you can look up on my website. It's under welfare, F-A-I-R, packages and uh, uh, that has estimated savings of hundreds of million dollars. With that, the administration, corporate administration, has done due diligence and removed over 100,000 people off the welfare rolls who either have passed away or moved out of the state of Pennsylvania into a different state. Uh, hopefully we'll see significant savings through the actions we've taken. and Hopefully we can get more welfare reform um, to curb back state spending as much as possible and hold every dollar accountable to the citizens of this state. Uh, we've also passed tort reform, which is significant because this is the third time we've passed it and uh, the second time, third time, uh, or second time a governor has signed it into action. Uh, this will reform and help reduce health care premiums as well as help doctors stay in this state uh, to reduce their medical malpractice insurance. Uh, we've also forced school districts to hold the line on spending by closing many of the exceptions in Act 1 of Special Session 2006 that allow school districts to raise uh, property taxes above the set index. Uh, without going to vote a referendum. I think that's a positive move to help protect you and uh, your ability to stay in your home and afford your house for the rest of your life. Uh, with that, another major accomplishment was passing an on-time budget that had no tax increases and no increased borrowing or new borrowing proposed in it. Obviously, this fiscal year, we're about half a billion dollars short, and we have $800 million of new mandated spending. A lot of it was... Um, for maintenance because of the federal stimulus money. Um, we're looking at probably about $1.3 billion in the hole already from this fiscal year. Uh, revenue projections are above last year, but unfortunately the analysis of how much revenue, the estimates uh, were off and uh, severely sh um, overshot that those numbers, which is creating the, the shortfall this year. Uh, the Corbett administration is looking at some mid-year budget freezes. Uh, hopefully we will be coming, or we will be coming back next year and doing a no tax increase budget once again to try to hold the line and prioritize spending on the core functions of government. Education, transportation, public health, public safety. That's what government should be focusing on. Um, with that, hopefully we can see some other further reforms, um, privatization, further property tax reform, uh, local tax restructuring to provide the crucial uh, needed property tax reforms we've seen as co-chair of the property tax task force here in the Republican House caucus. I know me and my colleagues have been working animately to provide that, that um, assistance to our seniors and everybody across the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, with that, appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me through my website or check out my Facebook page. Thanks.